got very close to it. And the only way, the only way to have these images is thanks to Courts hundreds and hundreds of hours every time, and we can prove. space but we could have a very long presentation just from what is happening the space these are just a very few examples to prove what I'm trying to say now Santiago and now we have this On the next mission, STS-116, on December of that year, when two new warnings happened, when these objects got very close to, this, to the Discovery and the International Space Station. How can we interpret this? And now we have this crash between two satellites, an impossible crash. The space trash that is in the space is not floating anywhere. It is controlled. They know exactly where every single one of these crafts or remainings of uh, old missions are. It means that it was not accidental. How can we know this is truth? Well, let's watch. Let's see, because I believe this is not going to be the last time we see something like that. In October 2007, the whole mission was observed. This is just very few videos. We have presented this in the past. But we want to prove that we, have been, we are being watched in the space. The discovery are always steady. They haven't been able to explain why there was this crash. And it's possible a new warning because after September 19, 2006, we had the beginning of this new era. You have to remember that day because uh, a little object stop the the Atlantis from coming back this object was there for something from 8 hours to 11 hours blocking the Atlantis from coming back that had to be a warning that was not accidental what they want to say is probably that the space it doesn't belong to human beings but to every single intelligent creature in the space. The Atlantis was able to record this light that came from very far to very near, stayed there for a few minutes, and then left. It happened again on the next mission, STS-116. On December of that year, when two new warnings happened, when these objects got very close to, this, to the Discovery and the International Space Station, Cosmos 2251 and the Iridium 33, because something happened. We don't know yet what happened because, as you know, the orbits of these satellites
are always steady. They haven't been able to explain why there was this crash. And it's possible a new warning because after September 19, 2006, we had the beginning of this new era. You have to remember that day because uh, a little object stopped the, the Atlantis from coming back. This object was there for something from eight hours to 11 hours blocking the Atlantis from coming back.